Let's bring in now Frank Luntz, American consultant and pollster. And uh, good evening to you, Frank. It was, of course, the polls that perhaps uh, many of his advisers took to President Biden to show him that at this stage uh, he was being damaged in this uh, US presidential race. That's correct. And survey after survey had Biden already losing more than half of the key swing states and in danger of losing the ones that could have given him victory. But what scared them the most is the fact that it could have an impact on House races, Senate races, and down the ticket. The public took a look at him, and while they respect his presidency and they respect him as a human being, and they're still he's still quite popular personally, that they had felt that he lost the ability to do the job and they wanted to be given another choice. Now, I'm going to be coming up with focus group footage that we shot Friday night, I'm just trying to put it together right now, of these swing voters and what they think of, of Vice President Harris, because it's not particularly positive and it's going to go a long way in deciding whether Democrats should simply grant her the nomination because she's the heir apparent or whether they should open up the process. I want to emphasize, Vice President Harris's numbers are not particularly favorable. They're in the same ballpark as Joe Biden's were. And the Trump campaign is probably excited about the opportunity to run against her. Uh, uh and, um, uh, Frank, you're, you're saying you're, you're not sure whether it will be a direct coronation or whether there'll be a, a different process. The, I have, over the last few weeks, been speaking to a number of people concerned that a direct coronation may not work uh, um, and there might need to be a better process. Uh, James Zogby suggested to me that at the uh, Democratic Convention, they should there provide a number of candidates who might want to run for the president and then decide who the nominee should be. What would you make of that? Well, I'm, I'm going to stay away from policy because I'm a pollster, but I can confirm what he just said, which is that Democrats would be angry as heck if they were told that even though they voted for Joe Biden, that the person who they did not necessarily vote for, that they still feel favorable towards, is being forced on them that Democrats and independents who lean Democratic, that they would want to make the choice themselves. Now, I recognize that this is chaotic, that we've never had this happen before, that there is no process right now. But I can also tell you that I've spoken to three potential Democratic candidates in varying degrees of making the decision whether or not to challenge for this. And the consensus is that the Democratic Party in general and Vice President Harris in particular would get hurt with a coronation that is better for her to earn it through debates, through conversations, and through a convention than it is for them to just bestow the nomination on her. Oh my God. Okay, uh, Frank Luntz, thanks very much indeed for your insight.